Douglas, you shouldn't have done that. Milton had made the bee very angry indeed, and it flew straight back to its hive. Ha <laughs> ha, laughed Milton. We won't be seeing him again. I wouldn't be too sure, thought Douglas, as the bee reappeared, and another, and then another. Ah, exclaimed Milton. He's coming back with an army. Run for it. Douglas didn't like running, but under the circumstances, he thought it best. Never been to the vets before, said Milton. It's very exciting. Douglas didn't agree. I'd better wait here when you go in to see the vet, said Milton, just in case he examines behind your ears. Just then a voice on the loudspeaker said, Mrs. Witherspoon and Douglas to surgery, please. Come along, Douglas, said Mrs. Witherspoon. We'll soon have you better. Milton jumped onto a chair as Mrs. Witherspoon took Douglas in to see the bed. There are animals here I've never even seen before, thought Milton. I must have a closer look. How do you do? said Milton to all the animals. My name's Milton. He was just about to say hello to a white mouse when he accidentally stood on the mouse's sore tail. The mouse squeaked very loudly. The owl heard the mouse, and, as we all know, owls eat mice. It flew towards Milton and the mouse, who ran for their lives. Suddenly a cat noticed the owl and pounced. The big dog saw the cat, and the whole thing began to get out of hand. What on earth is going on out there? said the vet. Sounds like someone has started a riot. And I can guess who, thought Douglas. Later that afternoon, Milton and Douglas were sitting in the garden, feeling sorry for themselves. You were right, Douglas, said Milton. Annoying bees can be very dangerous indeed. Just then, Mrs. Witherspoon appeared. You poor dog, she said. You had such a terrible day. I thought I'd make you a special treat for tea. Jam sandwiches. Sometimes, Douglas, you can be a very strange dog. Sighed Mrs. Witherspoon as she went back into the house. And there's more from Milton next week here on CBBC. Now, today we've been asking you to send in your favourite jokes, and we've got one here uh, from uh, William Brownlee. He says, we had granny for Christmas dinner, right? And the other person goes, really? We had turkey. And the other one is from Stephen Haggerty. What do you get if you cross a window box with an anthill? Ants in your plants. Pl pants, pants, plants, plants. There's a Viking in my bed. There's a Viking off his head. There's a Viking on TV. A new series for you to see. No one believes he's real. Such a result thinks everything's a meal. There's a Viking in my bed. The time for fun is straight ahead. Choose Thursdays for 20 CP. He wants the place to be. And that new show is starting in half an hour's time. Don't miss it. But right now it's time for those cool customers, the Sheen. Remember? Oh, yes. It's going to be fun. Captain Bleed and Uncle Elliot are coming too. Oh. Hello! Hello, Gogol! Hello, Gogol! So, 
What are you cooking for lunch? Oh, um, yes, well, uh, I, uh, vegetable soup mm. and, um, uh, some, um, uh, warm, crusty bread, uh, followed by, uh, apple pie and cream. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, I need to pop into town on the way home. Just a, a few bits of shopping. <laughs> oh, I am cold. I want to, I want to sit in front of a warm fire. <laughs> Why, uh, why aren't we sitting in front of a warm, uh, fire, uh, boards? <sighs> because we have no wood to make a fire with. <gasps> right, I think we've got all the food, and now mm. lots of firewood, so we can have a jolly, cozy fire. It got to you, but has been a sort of lullaby. No, all I need is some, some, uh, some crusty bread. I don't know why you didn't do all the shopping yesterday, Sobel. You'd better make the pie crust first. Um, pie crust? The apple pie. What? Oh, yes. Yes, of course. Uh, right then. Um, you do know how to make pie crust. Uh, uh, um, don't you, Gogol? Uh, yes. Um, uh, well, no, actually, I don't. Oh, I... oh, would you, Georgina? You can make the soup. The, uh, soup? Um, yeah, uh, well, I'm, um, I'm not sure. Um, how to, uh... First you peel and chop the vegetables. Peel and chop. Right. Um, what do I, oh, uh... I don't know where uh... Hubert's got to. I, I, I'll go and look for him. <laughs> the wood is by the front door. As he goes inside, we grab it. Yes, yes. Boys, oh, just keep your heads down. And wait. <laughs> Very good. There. Hello, Mr. Snowman. <laughs> Oh, bother. Oh, Vogel, you're meant to be making the soup. What? Oh, Georgina, oh, Uncle Elliot and Captain Bleak will be here soon and nothing's ready. Say hello to Mr. Snow. Um, uh, come on, Hubert, we'd, uh, we, we, we'd better go in. Oh, great. Would you like to come for lunch, Mr. Snowman? Oh, good. I'll come and get you in a minute. Yeah, snowmen have all the...